welcome back. In this video, we will add Turbo Links to our project. And if you've never used Turbo Links before, it's a great library released by our friends at Basecamp. And if you're like me, you might be kind of tired of creating the full front end in JavaScript with like Vue or React. Uh, but we do it because it gives a really nice slick feel to the front end of our applications. Now, Basecamp created this Turbo Links thing for that very reason. It gives us fast and smooth front ends on a full stack application. So server rendered applications without all that hassle. I mean, of server side rendering, for example, with Vue or React. I know some people dig that. Me, it just gives me a headache even just thinking about it. Uh, so when I found Turbo Links, I was very excited. So that's what we're going to do today. We'll add Turbo Links to our project. So you open up your terminal and we'll npm install Turbo Links. And I want to add this as a dev dependency because we'll use Gulp to add this to our project. Now, the thing with the Turbo Links distribution uh, build is that it's already minified. So to manage that in our Gulp build, because we're minifying our other scripts and we can't re-minify the minified version of Turbo Links, we need to merge in minified ver files with non-minified files after the fact. So let's, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. We'll npm install, it's a little package called merge2, and we'll save this as a dev dependency as well. And let's head over to our gulp file, and we'll take merge right here from merge2, just like that. And in our vendor scripts function, our task right here, we have to uh, do a little bit of uh, surgery. Now let's get rid of our source maps and that just to keep things simple. And this first source and pipe will actually save it as a stream. So stream one, this will equal gulp source and then this final pipe to uglify uh, these non-minified uh, JavaScript files. And then we'll create a stream two and this will be for our already minified files. So we'll call source here again, and we'll use an array, and uh, our turbo links package will be at paths, node path, and we'll get that turbo links, I believe it's in the dist folder, and it'll be just called turbo links again. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking one stream of files and we're holding it in the stream one variable. Then we're taking another stream and holding it into a second one. And at this point, we will return merge, what we just brought in. And it'll take the two streams and it'll add them together, just like that. And from there, we can pipe it again. And we'll call our concat on it this time. And we'll concatenate it to our vendor scripts dot min dot js because at this point stream one has been minified this one's already minified we're merging the two together and we'll concatenate them into this one file and we'll drop that in our public directory uh, just like with our other our other scripts and styles so let's run gulp just to make sure that that goes off without a hitch And now that's done, I want to open my vendor scripts.min. And I'll just do a quick search for turbo links just to make sure it's here. Yep. Yeah. So it is being added just as I expected. Now, with turbo links, the way it works is we have to load all of our JavaScript files in the head of the document. We can't put it down below at the uh, just above the closing body tag like we're used to, but never fear. We have uh, another way of making sure that our JavaScript doesn't block the rendering of our views. So first I'm in my main file. I'm going to grab my common scripts from the bottom and I'll add them right here at the top in the head, just below the styles. There we go. Now I want to jump to my common scripts file because that's where we're actually bringing, bringing in our vendor scripts and our custom scripts. Now for this to work, we have to use the good old fashioned script tags because we need our source attribute for this to work. So our source attribute, thankfully, uh, Adonis gives us a little helper to find our asset directory. So it's assets URL with a capital U. This is a function. And then we just type in the name of our script. So it'll look inside of our public directory and it'll find this. 
and our type is text JavaScript. And here's why we need the source tag and all this, uh, the source attribute and this good old fashioned source tag, because we have to use the defer attribute. And thankfully this is supported fairly well across all browsers now, so it'll be no problem using this. And I'll do the same thing here for our custom scripts. Now I can get rid of this. Okay, now I'll restart the server just so we can test this out. And now that that's running, I need to add some links. I want to jump between a couple of pages just so, I, so you can see how Turbo Links work. So I'll go to our nav edge and we have some links here. We'll change our home link to actually go to the home screen. And you may remember we set up a page as well. So I'll set that up. So now let's jump over to our browser and we'll go to our site here and open up the network tab when you inspect and I'll just give it a refresh. And you can see that when we refresh the page, we get all of our assets, right? Now when I click our page link here, watch what happens. We load our page data in with an XHR request. Instead of loading the whole page again, it just brings in the changes and merges them. So the transition is much more smooth. You see that? And when we have more things on the page, you'll notice how much faster everything loads as well. You can keep an eye on the time here and how much quicker everything loads. It's really a fantastic tool. So give that a try, play around a little bit, create some more pages and just have some fun with it. If you have any questions about it, you have any trouble getting it set up, please post that down below the video. I appreciate all thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the updates coming up this week.